Hey everybody, Rory from a &S Gear. We've got more of the Carbon line right here. So this is the Carbon CC knee pad, um, dual layer knee pad, adjustable strap, no slip thigh, um, interior knee donut alignment. That just is a little circle that helps keep it over your knee. Um, <laughs> it's sold. In, I don't know why they needed to put that on the outside. It says sold in a pair, left and a right. Maybe there's knee pad companies out there that only sell a left or only sell a right. I don't know. But they want you to know these are sold in a pair. Don't know if that's important or not. Um, as with all of their uh, setups right here, this bag doubles as a wash bag. If you remove the sticker, it just peels right off. And then uh, pull the foam out of the inside. So take all that out of there. You can throw these into there and wash it. Um, cold water wash, do not put in the dryer, hang them out to dry. Get out of here. All right. So, uh, let's look at this. So we've got a top strap. I'm going to come around here and we've got, I'm just checking the stretch on here. So the strap along the back is stitched in. So it is not kind of like free floating. It won't flop around and fall off of here. It has its own kind of like little sleeve that it sits inside right there. But you'll still be able to grab it. You can see that I'm stretching it way out and you can see kind of it bunching up back here. And then I can pull that back. So it's kind of like self-contained or contained inside there. Uh, which is good. So you don't have a big long strap that's flapping around all over the place. The strap itself is elastic. So you can get the tightening effect down right there. But again, make sure you're buying pads that fit you appropriately before you need to tighten them down. The tightening down is to keep them in place, not to make them fit you better. Um, all right. I think I, it sounds like I say that a lot. We've got neoprene back right here there is no adjustment or strap for the bottom so around this part this would be like the part that's going over your calf or near your calf um, there is no adjustment for that but it's got a pretty tapered bottom to it so uh, the calf should help hold it up and really that's when it comes to knee pads what i found my experience with knee pads is this strap that goes around your thigh is good. I mean, it holds, it helps hold it in place, but your thigh typically tapers down. And so even if this is nice and tight around your thigh, the pad can want to ride down your leg because it's trying to hold on to a, a, you know, a shape that doesn't lend itself to being held to very well. So the bottom where you've got a nice ball of muscle on your calf, is what helps hold that knee pad up and in the spot. So I like this tapered bottom to it right here. It's gonna help hold that in place on my calf or your calf. Unless you have like really skinny chicken legs and you don't have a calf, maybe it's not gonna work out for you that way. But that's what's gonna hold up your knee pad right there. We've got padding all the way around. So not just on the knee itself. So padding all the way around and then extra padding right there on top of the knee. So that's got a lot of padding in that middle section right there. And then decent padding around the outside. On the inside, this is that donut that they were talking about right here. So this is going to help keep your knee centered right there so that the padding is directly over your knee. And again, that has a lot to do with whether the pad is riding up and down your leg or not. Um, Hopefully it can keep it in the spot. Let's see, non-slip thigh. Got that right there. That's what I'm talking about there. Adjustable tension strap, low profile fire supported fit. So yeah, I mean, that's that's what we're looking at right here. Wanted to make sure I hit all the levels. I do like the amount of padding that's on the inside there. And I'm trying to feel if that padding is removable. I'm trying to get my fingers inside there. Feels like it's all stitched up, so you can't pull any of the padding out. Um, got stretch to it. And the, and 
I like the feeling of the foam. Sometimes you feel the foams and the foams are really, really dense. They're really, really hard. And either they were gonna take a while to break in and be comfortable on your leg. This foam right from the bat is thick, but it's got a lot of good squish to it. So it's gonna be super comfortable on your knee. Uh, they are labeled on the inside for the right and the left. So I would assume that they're slightly offset each one to fit the profile of the left leg and the right leg. Uh, so make sure that you're putting them on the right side, left and right, so that it fits you properly. Um, and then I try to recommend for knee pads and elbow pads, always try to try them on if you can uh, to make sure that they fit you properly. So these are the CC knee pads right here. Great foam protection, not a very big knee pad. I've seen some knee pad, you know, they're giant right here and they wrap all around and they've got padding everywhere. You know, depending on what you're wearing, what your layers are gonna be set up as, you really have to kind of decide, okay, I'm gonna wear like a, a compression pant or short that does or does not have knee pads in it. Then I'm gonna need some knee pads. The pants I'm wearing, are the are there padding in the knee and of the pants themselves? Do I need the extra layer? And really find that happy medium of integrated support and in, in padding or extra padding that you might need on there. If you need extra padding, check out the CC knee pads from Carbon. There's multiple sizes available through the website or to yours today at ansgear.com.